An old soul like you must have traveled far and seen many places. I was once a wanderer myself. And I, Schmendrick, have learned that wherever you go, it's just like staying in the same place. I was born in Helm. Not this Helm, the other Helm. The first Helm. I grew up in Helm. Got married there. Everything I know, I learned in Helm. Outsiders called Helm the village of idiots. But our rabbi said we were a village of natural geniuses with our own way of figuring things out. But I was growing skeptical of Helm wisdom, and I had a thirst for more knowledge. I decided that living in Helm wasn't good enough for Schmendrick. So the next morning, I got some things together before my wife and children awoke. Health and joy to them, wherever they are now. And I started out for Warsaw to see the big city. After I ate, I felt very sleepy and decided to have a nap. But in case I forgot which way I was going, I took off my boots and placed them beside the road, one pointing in the direction I was going and the other pointing in the direction that I came from. <sighs> Thank you. 
And when I woke up, I stepped into my boots, laced them up where they stood, and I went on my way. soon came to a village that looked a great deal like Helm. And the closer I got, the more like Helm it looked. Tree for tree. House for house. Every blade of grass looked familiar. You ever have that strange feeling that everything has happened just like this a long time ago? Well, it was the strangest thing. I walked down the streets as if in a dream. It was Helm all over again. The people I saw, each one, looked exactly like someone I knew back home in Helm. There was a rabbi like ours. Here is Isya. There a Meshulam. I turned up a lane, just like my lane. On it was a house that was board for board, like my house. Even the paint was peeling in the same places. The chickens in the yard had familiar feathers, reminiscent clocks. This was becoming frightening. What if I walked in the door and saw myself, Schmendrick, sitting there in the kitchen? What would we say to each other? So I hesitated on the front stoop, and out the door came a woman who looked exactly like my wife, Shayna, wart for wart. When she screamed at me, hitting notes I used to think only my own dear Shayna could reach. And the children were brat for brat like my own children, fetching and sniveling and squabbling. thing missing in this astonishing household was Schmendrick. There Schmendrick was nowhere to be seen. He had left his house and his helm that same morning. Well, you might say, what a coincidence. But I believe it was more than a coincidence. I believe that the hand of God was in this. Or maybe the elbow. Who understands these things? Because you see, the other Schmendrick vanished and never came back. And so I moved in. At first, I missed my own wife and children. But soon these other children started calling me daddy. I suppose I reminded them of their father. And soon this other Shana... Well, you don't want I should go into details. I worry, you know? If the other Schmendrick ever comes back. Uh. <laughs> it could get very complicated. But my personal theory is that he wound up just like me. He arrived in my helm and is presently living with my wife. The adulterous dog, may he contract the Tsar's disease and worrying that I might someday return. <laughs> So 
So why don't I return? Why don't I return? A good question. If this helm is exactly the same as the helm I come from, and the Talmud tells us that the world is everywhere the same, then every village is just like this one. Flower for flower. Cow for cow. Who can say? Perhaps the entire world is simply one enormous helm. And I'm a practical man. So why should I walk my feet off to get to where I practically already am? Thank you.